If you confidently said one, you just fell for the classic trick. Yeah, I get it. It looks super clean and balanced, right? You've got 48 divided by 2, then that bracket with 1 plus 1 and a square, and finally multiplied by 6. So your brain probably goes inside the parentheses first, 1 plus 1 gives 2. Easy. Then the square makes it 4. And now it feels natural to multiply the left 2 and the right 6 with that 4, giving you 2 times 4 times 6, which equals 48. So 48 divided by 48, ta-da, 1. Perfect symmetry, perfect logic. Except it's perfectly wrong. Now here's where the math quietly flips the table on you. The moment you finished simplifying that bracket, you forgot one tiny rule, and it changes everything. It's PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, in that order. But here's the catch. Multiplication and division have equal priority. You don't just jump to whichever side you want. You go left to right, step by step. So let's slow down and actually follow that. We've got 48 divided by 2 times open bracket 1 plus 1 close bracket squared times 6. Inside the bracket, 1 plus 1 is 2, fine. Its square gives 4. Now our expression becomes 48 divided by 2 times 4 times 6. No parentheses now, so we go left to right. First, 48 divided by 2, that's 24. Then, 24 times 4, that's 96. Finally, multiply 96 by 6, and that gives 576. So the correct answer isn't 1, it's 576. Yeah, that's a massive difference. You see, the biggest trap is assuming that the 2 beside the bracket automatically sticks to it like multiplication inside a glue trap. But mathematically, division doesn't care. It's equal in rank. Once you follow left to right, the whole thing changes. Math problems like this one are sneaky. They look simple, but rely on your brain's instinct to group things visually instead of logically. So, the next time you see something like this, pause for a second before trusting your gut. Got a different take? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your logic.